Hello, welcome to Effortless Qigong. This is a short routine for after work. Let's begin. Begin this routine by doing spinal cord breathing. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. As you inhale, bending the spine upwards, keeping the hands, wrists, and shoulders nice and relaxed. Exhale, bending that spine down, breathing all the air out. As you inhale, you're relaxed and opening up the rib cage, taking a full breath. And as you exhale, you're pushing all the air out, massaging those internal organs. This is a fantastic movement to do after work. Because we've been sitting all day, we've built up tension through our backs, neck, and shoulders. And chances are, as we've been completing tasks and dealing with stress, we've lost connection to our breathing. So this is a good opportunity to massage the internal organs, the spine, and breathe fully and deeply. This is gonna help us to undo stress and tension, increase mental clarity and focus, and to be able to get through the things we have to do after work with less stress and more energy. Now let's go into shoulder rolls. Our shoulders is an area where we tend to build up a lot of tension throughout our day. So as you inhale, roll the shoulders up, and exhale, roll the shoulders down. I'm doing a slight wave of the spine as well. I like to really bring that fluid movement through my back, neck, and shoulders as I'm doing my shoulder rolls. Do them as they feel right for you. This should feel really good, especially after work if we do an office job, or even if we do other types of work, doing some mindful movement tends to feel really good. Exhale and Let's reverse that now, bringing the shoulders up, back, and forward. Rolling out any stress and tension in the shoulders, breathing fully, moving with ease and grace, and letting go of the stress and tension of the day. Let's set a positive intention for our evening, any chores we need to do, and any time we can take for ourselves, for self-care and rejuvenation, let's prioritize that. Inhale, arms float up. Exhale, arms float down, pulling down the sky. Allow this slow, graceful movement and deep, full breathing inhale and exhale to calm the mind and to fill the body with calm, cool energy. As you inhale, inhale positive energy, and as you exhale, send any stress and tension to the ground. Inhale, arms float up. Exhale, pushing yourselves above murky waters. Remember that stress isn't bad but as long as we have the tools to be able to have stress and then to let it go, we grow stronger with each and every day. As we inhale up, bring the hands together, brushing down the back of the neck, down the front of the body, rubbing down across the rib area, down the yang side of the legs. Inhale, arms up on your toes and Relax through the body, purging stress. Let's do it again. Inhale up. Exhale, arms float down, brushing down across the back of the head, down the neck, chest, down the back and sides of the legs. Inhale up under your toes and let go of stress and tension. Feel any warmth, tingling, circulating of energy in the body as we go into the slow shaking. And we're gonna do some healing sounds here to let go of stress and tension and to purge toxic G. Inhale and exhale with a shh. Do that comfortably as you would wish. Shaking, feeling into the body, and doing those healing sounds. Slow it 
down, feel into the body, feel that tingling and movement of energy. Now let's undo the tension that we built up throughout the day in our lower back and hips. Hip circles are a great movement to do as part of a daily Qigong practice. Moving in that circular motion, doing what feels right for you, undoing tension in our lower back and hips. Feel the release, any cracks and pops, any tenderness, or any bright, good feeling that you feel as you do this movement. Even these simple movements like hip rotations continue to change and unfold as we pursue mastery and practice in our Qigong practice. This is also a great movement to do throughout the day when you're at work. Inhale, arms float up. Exhale, side to the ground, bending those knees. Inhaling, pulling up positive energy from the earth. And exhale, letting go of stress of the day. This is a great movement for undoing tension in the legs, building some strength. Breathing fully, exhale, inhale up, fully all the way up. This tiger movement, it's another great movement to do when we've been sitting for many hours. And exhale. Inhale. Pushing away stress and negative energy. Feeling into the body as we turn. Inhale, arms float up. Exhale, arms float down. Tree sways in the wind. This is a great movement. Inhale, inhaling patience and forgiveness. Exhaling anger, frustration, depression. Imagining your deep roots pulling up positive energy and exhaling, cycling, composting that stress of the day into the earth beneath you. Flowing here in this tree sways in the wind flow, relaxing your face muscles, your neck and shoulders, relaxing through the arms and hands as we flow through these movement, remembering that the body acts as the banks in the river, and when we're flowing and we do it in a relaxed way, it allows our chi to flow and circulate through the body. Let's build some power here in this standing tree posture holding the arms out in front of you. Relax through the hands, neck, face, and shoulders. Droopy elbows, standing comfortably. Breathing here, generating some power. Inhale, arms float up. This is our final flow for this short routine. Inhale, arms float up. Filling ourselves with gratitude that we're taking time to do self-care after work. Inhale, arms float up. Exhale, floating down. Setting the intention to take the calm, cool energy that we've created in this practice into the rest of our evening. Cross our hands over our belly, bring the feet together, 
standing tall, relaxed face, neck, and shoulders, breathing into the lower dantian, that area just below the navel. Hope you enjoyed this short routine for after work. Practice it regularly. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below. If you'd like to support this channel, please consider donating and subscribing to my Buy Me A Coffee page. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.